She was run down and critically injured by a driver high on drugs. Now a former construction flagger says she forgives that driver. Fox Bell's Jamie Wilson joins us live with an interview you'll see only on 12. Quite remarkable, Jamie. Absolutely. A big show of compassion here in court. Patrick Miller changed his plea today. He also admitted that he has a problem and that he is ready to accept the consequences. But the woman that he almost killed earlier this year says that she can't and she won't hold a grudge. I forgive Mr. Miller for what he has done to me because I understand that he is suffering from a disease. Getting up from her wheelchair briefly in court today, Margot Davis spoke to Patrick Miller, offering him her forgiveness. Back in March, Davis was working as a road construction flagger on Southeast 68th and Division when Miller drove his car right into her, breaking both of her legs, shattering her pelvis, causing a traumatic brain injury and putting her in a coma for three weeks. Police said they found evidence at the scene that Miller was huffing not nitrous oxide or whippets. Miller has been living in a sober living house, and today he pled guilty to charges of assault, three, and DUI. Davis is healing, and she's relieved that Miller is taking responsibility for his actions, but she does not feel that he was malicious. I don't believe that he woke up that morning with the intention of driving and injuring another human being. I just cannot accept that people are like that in this society that we live in. Um, it was a mistake. It was a mistake that he made because he was under the influence. And Patrick Miller will be sentenced the first week in November, and it appears that he could spend two years in prison. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Jamie Wilson, Fox 12, Oregon. Incredible strength of character from that woman. Uh, thank you, Jamie, for that.